Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Mike, and this is Sniper Elite 3. It's a new game developed by Rebellion, the same people that made Alien vs Predator and the previous Sniper Elite games. This is um, one is set in Africa, North Africa. Is it? Yeah, it's North Africa. In 1942, the Second World War. He plays the same character from the previous games. Um, Carl Fairburn, his name is. He's an elite American sniper. So, um, with that being said, let's jump into the game. Let's start a new game. Right, here's a difficulty. We're going to play on the average difficulty. So, not going to jump in too deep, so let's go with Marksman. Most of Europe has been crushed under the Axis boot, forcing an Allied retreat. Their supply lines for food and raw materials are crippled. The Suez Canal is a lifeline, connecting Britain with its empire and Middle Eastern oil, making the war in North Africa crucial. As the British and Axis armies face each other across the Libyan-Egypt border, the front line swings like a pendulum across the western desert. A harsh, unforgiving strip of land between the Mediterranean and the Sahara. Mechanized warfare has come of age. Here, tanks are king. I've arrived in Tobruk off a boat filled with replacements and reinforcements. Young men blindly rushing to their deaths. None of them are comfortable having someone like me around. Suits me fine. Most of them won't make it out of here alive. Rommel was kicked out during Operation Crusader. But Axis forces are once again sweeping across the western desert. The Gazala Gallop began with the Allied retreat. And Rommel is at the city's throat. There's no time for tactics. 35,000 of us have one order. Hold to Brook. Okay, so that's a little tutorial there on the screen telling you about your stamina and how if you run around a lot jumping over stuff, your aim's going to be all over the place. So the stamina in this game is based on what you've done before you start aiming. So you want to be moving around slowly, you know, reserve as much energy as you can so you can have stable shots. Play this on PS4, by the way. Looks very pretty. Nice and smooth camera turns. All right, so we're gonna head to the wall to defend against the um, the attack in our military base. Hold out two to look for your sniper scope. Okay, we can zoom in with up, up and down on the pad. Uh, what's this? You can empty your lung with the R1 button. That's just said on the previous screen. So the red diamond appears. That's where your bullet's gonna land. And a grey diamond indicates that the bullet destination is obstructed. So like enemies behind cover, so it'll land there but it won't kill him or hit him. So there we go. Let's take that shot. Oh shit, right in the top of the head. Come out the back. Here's another guy. So let's hold our breath again. There's the marker, let's go for the head. I might be in his right his right eye. Oh, just above it. Can we take cover in this? I'm not too sure what the buttons are. Move to. Okay, so we're heading over there. I'm gonna head down this slope, I think. I've played the previous sniper game in Sniper Vision 2. Um I've heard that the upgraded the inventory quite a bit on this. And the bullet cameras. Where are we going there? If that's just been blown up, we still going there? Oh, we go. Kill. What's that? Oh, it's a guy on top. There's no um, lung capacity. Can we still hold the breath? I think it needs to go. Oh, we had it just then. Okay. There we go. So that guy's quite far away, so the bullet drops quite a lot. Landed it. I think normally when you get the kill cam, you've landed the kill shot. 
Oh, my first binocular. I think I should be crouching, really, for these shots, but I don't know what the buttons are. I'm just doing what it's telling me at the moment. Kill the remaining spotter. He's over... Okay, we're moving to this, this section here. Yeah, circles crouch. Okay. So you can destroy vehicles by shooting weak spots. Tag vehicles to highlight these. Some weak spots may require multiple shots. So you can use the binoculars with R3. You zoom in with the D-pad. You can tag stuff. So have I tagged that? Yeah, I tagged that. Okay, so let's come out of the binoculars. Let's get the sniper rifle out. Zoom in. And let's lower the... I mean, let's focus. There we go. Shoot the canister below the car. Oh, right on, right on target. Right on the lid. Normally in these sniper games as well, with the binoculars, when you tag stuff, it tells you how far away it is. So if you're not using the focus, you know how many notches down to go on the scope. Like 100, it's normally 100 meters per notch per line on the scope. And we'll try that when we got more of like, we're not getting shot at by everyone. At the moment it's quite hectic. You are here to equip a med kit from the radial menu. Okay, let's get a med kit out. What's the bandage do? That because two segments. And get those full health. I think my health is down the bottom left by the minimap. So I've got three segments. Let's just do what the game's telling me to do so far. So if you equip it with the, that. I have to do something about them. And you use R1 to use your item. It's similar to The Last of Us. Same as like the weapon wheel. I don't think. What's the weapon wheel? I can't remember. It's so long. Okay, X to climb. So we're heading up to a new vantage point, it looks like. Okay, we can look at the map with the, um, the touchpad. Yeah, we're just heading through these um, passage pathways. There's my um, heart rate as well on the bottom left, beats per minute. So he hasn't run around, it's going up. So it's like 90 beats per minute a sec. You won't hear me approach if I crouch. And go prone. Can I stealth kill this guy? Yeah, up a triangle. Ooh, ne knife to the neck. Search his body. What did we get? We got a grenade. Okay, let's, sni let's knife this guy too. So neck snap. So there's a few different animations it looks like for kills. Alright, we were just clearing the way so we can head past. We probably could have just walked past there, but... Okay, so we need to get the well rod. That's the pistol, I believe. Let's take a silenced pistol. Yep. So is, these are indicators for when enemies can see you. When it's filling up at yellow, that's the, them spotting you. Suspicious is when it's full. And when it's red, they're actually searching. When it's filled in, they're attacking. Okay, that's quite easy to understand. So just hope for it to not fill up at all or be yellow. That's what we want. So let's get this guy in the head. Yep, he's down. What's reload square? Yep. I don't know if you just noticed that stand as well. Before I shot that guy, there was a symbol at the top of the middle of the screen. That's like a noise. So that means that any sniper shot you take will not be heard by the enemies. See, there it is right there. Because that's so loud, they won't, hit, they won't hear the sniper shots. Okay, let's just take these guys out of the pistol anyway. I'm going to reload just in case I miss a few shots. Maybe when they take fire and they're moving away from each other, I'll take them out then, otherwise they might be alerted. So just right now. Okay, they're covering their heads. I didn't kill them. That's not good. Okay, he hasn't actually spotted me. He's just, alert. He's just suspicious, it looks like. He knows he's getting attacked. Maybe, yeah, just keep the pistol for now, and we'll just shoot him when we get a shot on him. Let's creep, creep around here. I was hoping it would give me a better chance to shoot them when, um... Here he is. 
in the face. I'm not too sure what that thing is in the bottom left that's flashing, like the hazard sign. I don't know if that knows. There's a distance. Is that how far away the enemies are? That know where I am? I don't know. So let's just pick up some like, um, items off that guy. Where are we heading again? Let's just keep going up the pass. Alright, let's look at the map a sec. Yeah, I think we're heading for that thing on the right of where we are on the map. So let's go through here maybe. There we go, the objective's up there. There's an enemy right there in front of us. There's another guy right here. Headshot that guy. Shoot this guy in the back of the neck. Okay, is there any more enemies? Hey, that's the objective over there. But I think maybe we have to take out these two cannons, it looks like. There's an enemy over there taking cover. Let's sneak through here. Maybe go around him. Knife him in the back, possibly. So we can place dynamite with R1 or hold to throw. Let's get behind this guy. Who's this? Some sounds are loud enough to mask your shots. When, our, when that appears, that symbol, you can shoot unheard. Listen out for other sounds and time your shots carefully. Okay. So we can make sniper shots when um, that thing appears. Let's just shoot this guy. We've got plenty. Oh, we haven't actually got plenty of bullets. Let's knife him. Ooh, right in the neck. So I'm gonna get my sniper rifle out. I remember there being a way in the previous sniper games where you can aim without looking down the sight. I'm not too sure how you do that in this game. That's not it. I'm just gonna actually shoot them then when they in. the noise was going off, but it was too late. With, shoot, with a sniper shot, you should be able to kill him by just shooting in the back. So I'll just do that with these two guys when the noise goes off. Like now. Actually required two shots just then. The first shot didn't kill him. Ooh, right in the hip. Let's just knife this guy. Shit, you see me. Headshot him anyway. <laughs> okay, so I think... I don't know if anyone heard that. Yeah, they did. Looks like the minimap's flashing yellow. So they probably heard it. Let's get, the, let's get the silencer out for the moment. In case any reinforcements come along. It says all clear. So do I need to I need to blow this up, I think? Is that the objective? Or just stop the guys from shooting it? I think I just need to stop them from shooting. Okay, so it's all clear. No longer searching for me. Enemy over there. Let's leave him for a second. As we sneak around to the next objective. Can't go any further this way. So let's head behind these guys. There's a few of them here. What items have we got? I think you can throw like rocks. There we go. It's a distraction tool. So we can kind of maybe distract these guys to look a different way so we can take one out at a time. Okay, I'm right, I'm right up and close in front of them now. Maybe if I throw a rock to that side. I got his attention. I think if I shoot this guy here, the guy next to him is going to know he's being shot. But let's just go for it. Because he won't be able to see. No, he didn't actually know. So take this guy out as well. And then take this guy out too. Cool. So that worked. I'm going to be going as stealthy as possible for this game. And if it turns out... I get spotted, you know, I'm not going to restart or try and go for a perfect run. I'll just um, deal with it and hide and recover. That guy's turned his back. The crouch walking in this game is pretty slow as well. You know, when you play it, compare it to something like Splinter Cell, where you can put a dash round between cover. This is quite difficult to move quickly. Alright, so I think we've only got two guys left. We've got that guy in that tent and we've got this guy to the left. This guy's moving around towards us nearly. Can you change shoulder? Oh, that's just binoculars. He's looking right at me. Let's just shoot him. Okay, that's a headshot. This guy's almost alerted. 
Okay, he was filling up there. He spotted me, but it was, it was too quick to shoot him. So he didn't actually call any reinforcements. We ran out of bullets almost with the, um, the silencer. Okay, so we need to stop these guys over here on the gun. There's a guy there. Looks like there's only maybe two. Just looking at the corner of the camera. There's the guy looking right at us, and then there's a guy on the gun. There's a guy there as well. Okay. Um. Okay. So. We need to possibly get the guy that's looking outwards, maybe first. I'm going to move around, see if there's a better vantage point, so we can look at it from a different angle. There you go, he's spotting me there. See if there's an actual path to get through on this side. N no, there isn't. Okay, let's go back. I wonder if, because this is like the last um, last gun to clear, there's not going to be much reinforcements if I go loud. Although I am on this side now, so I can shoot that guy with more ease. I think that guy in the middle there, that's on the left, we can see right now, he'll walk towards him, and then on his way back, we'll shoot the guy there. Okay, he's walking that side, okay, so we can get him now. Didn't kill him. Okay, we got him. Didn't alert anyone either. That's good. Okay, I've been alerted. So let's switch to the um, machine gun, maybe. Okay. I don't think there'll be any reinforced. Here we go. That's the end of the mission. That was quite tricky to get that silently because the Not pistol shots. Might as well check the ridge. The pistol shots aren't that effective at long range. So you can search this guy's corpse. Let's get this let's get the pistol back out. Search this guy's corpse. He might have useful might useful stuff that we might want. Nothing found on that guy. Alright, the objective is 65 meters that way we're gonna survey. So keep an eye out for any new enemies as we head into new territory. We can vault over this. Okay, let's go. Fairly quiet. You can jump across gaps with the X button. Hip. Here's the big boys. Okay, so this is my results for that mission. I ranked up to level 2. I don't know that. That must unlock something for me. I'm not too sure what it does. Okay, collected some weapon parts. Unlock dynamite. Flint and steel. Okay, so there was an objective there and an optional objective to kill 8 enemies using stealth takedowns. I didn't do that. I think I maybe got like 4. Tells you how many kills you got, enemies tagged, relocations, that's when you get spotted and you have to recover. And there's, uh, there's collectibles on the right, I didn't find a single one. One of the collectibles is actually a long shot. Didn't do that much sniping on that mission, just the, the first one. Alright, so I think I'm going to end this part here, because we've completed the first mission. If you want to see more daily videos of um, Sniper Elite 3, I will be doing a full playthrough. Please do subscribe, and um, I'll see you in the next part guys. See you later, bye.